and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well today. And in today's case of Mystery Psychic Files, I'm doing a bit of a retro and looking at the Miami show band Massacre. And this was a horrific event of musicians traveling from a gig uh, between Ireland and the UK during the 1970s where they were attacked or stopped at a roadblock and um, of course a couple of the band members were murdered three of them with a bomb explosion so there is uh, based on the series available on netflix the question in the series was was uh, mi5 which is the internal intelligence arm involved in the mass murder of innocent artists, musicians earning a living by playing at gigs that were targeted to send a message. So let's have a look and see who else was involved in this. All right, let me take a moment to focus and tune in. All right, so here we have the Miami uh, show band uh, team that were prominent during the 60s to the 80s and of course the time uh, the context during the 70s and 80s and even the 60s was there was obviously a lot of uh, conflict going on between the um, uh, Irish Republic as well as the UK government and of course during this time a lot of people lost their lives there were a lot of bombings going on around and Definitely not a nice time to be around during these awful times. And an event that happened during the massive struggle with the UK government um, was the loss of innocent lives, including the Miami show ban. So I believe, uh, so the bomb went off. Um, let me just set the scene here quickly. Uh, these guys were coming back from a gig in a minivan. And they were pulled over by um, a security checkpoint, which at the time I believe was a normal procedure during those times. However, the identities were not fully revealed as to who were the authorities at that roadblock. And uh, while these guys were getting out, apparently there was a kind of a faulty bomb, which I'll point out that exploded unexpectedly. The bomb was intended to go off, but not at the time that the authorities thought it would go off and they lost a couple of their men as well. But unfortunately it caused a severe damage and killed three of the band members. And that event happened on July 31, 1975. That when we see the 31 Ford speaks about deaths and multiple deaths, perpetrated with that 11-2 unlawfully and also includes government officials. Now, when we see that 15-6, that 6 is the bomb. 6 is about bombs, explosions, fire. Now, the report is that that bomb was faulty and we see that in the 5. The 15-6, that 5 tells me where the problem was. Faulty, uh, not working as expected. So who was involved here? So I've called out the Prime Minister of the time, James Harold Wilson, as well as the head of MR6, as well as the head of MR5 at the time, Sir Michael Hanley. And interesting numbers start popping up here. And what really concerns me is the July the 30th, that day before. So these guys had already traveled to the gig that night and traveled back in the early hours of the morning, July 31. But what concerns me about the July 30 is we have that 33, which alerts me immediately that there were multiple agencies involved, multiple. That 10 one tells me there was a collective decision and I believe between MR5, MR6, as well as the sitting Prime Minister James Harold Wilson at the time. Okay. 
and we see that outcome 14.5, which is all about lies, deception, wrong information, wrong targeting, and of course, innocent young men lost their lives who were really just musicians, not involved in the war in any shape, way or form. Now, the question asked in the Netflix documentary is who was responsible? Now, it's quite interesting the next day. August 1, 1975, we see the 8, 1, 9, and 13, 4. Okay. Now, coincidentally, that 8, 1, 9 pings directly on the head of MR5. So, in my opinion, they were definitely involved. And that 8 in that August 1, that 8 is the physical destruction that we saw with the vehicle as well as on the um, body of a human, massive physical destruction. That one is about MR5. And I believe MR6 were, in, uh, were involved in some way, shape or form. Um, but I would suspect MR6 were involved purely from an information point of view. And I believe MR, MR5 were directly involved here. We see the 819. And the um, and that pings directly on the head of the MR5 819. Now, when we look at the Prime Minister, he has the 112, which we see the 112 present on July 31. We also have the 145, which is the day before. We have the 8, which is present on August 1, and we have the 134, which is the outcome of August 1 pings directly on the Prime Minister. So in my opinion, all these agencies, MR6, MR5, the Prime Minister's office, were fully aware of the situation. And I believe this band was targeted for a morale propaganda mission. And I certainly believe that the Prime Minister, as well as the head of MR5, were directly involved with the murder and assassination of young innocent musicians who were only keeping crowds entertained at the time and were not involved in any shape way or form in the so-called terrorist attacks against the british government so the short answer is mr5 as well as the sitting president were directly involved and MR6, which deals mainly with um, external issues, were also known or were also privy to the information. But I definitely believe MR5, as well as the Prime Minister, were directly involved in this event. All right, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd like to hear your comments. And uh, if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And I would just say stay safe. Stay alert and I'll see you in the next one.